Hello everyone, welcome back. And today I'm bringing you guys five recommendations of what I think are the best VPNs for PC users. I'll brief you guys on the best selling points of each one of them. But if you'd like a closer look into any of these VPNs, keep in mind that you'll find individual reviews in the description below, as well as links to pricing and discounts. So be sure to keep an eye out for those as well. If you end up getting any of them, it'll be worth saving yourself some cash instead of paying the full price. The first three VPNs will probably be the best choice for most users due to their high performance, great security and ease of use. And the other two VPNs will be of interest to those that want more advanced options and customization in their VPN. And so this list would pretty much cover over 90% of the VPN user base. I'm not ranking any of these VPNs based on this order. This is just some of the best VPN services I've reviewed and any of them may very well be the best choice for you depending on your situation. So getting straight into this, I'm going to start with ExpressVPN, which is what I personally like to use for all of my general VPN needs. Express can reliably unblock streaming services very consistently. I've been using it a lot for Prime Video specifically, and Express never fails to get around those geo blocks for Prime Video and many other services. Express also fully supports peer-to-peer -peer activity, but without any port forwarding support for security reasons, unless you're trying to port forward to your router to gain remote access to your devices that are connected to that router. Check the link in the description for more on port forwarding. Express is one of the quickest and most reliable VPNs. You don't get many fancy features, but the features you do get, like the kill switch and split tunneling, are very well functioning, reliable, and work exactly as expected. The user interface is straightforwardly easy to use and bug free with no bells and whistles. Express has over 3000 servers in 94 countries and will allow for up to five simultaneous devices to be secured at once per subscription. The big selling point with Express is simply the sheer high performance, reliability, and the exceptionally sophisticated security protocols that they employ in order to achieve the highest levels of privacy and safety, which is why it's a little bit more costly than all the other VPNs on this list. My second recommendation would be NordVPN, which is another high performing and easy to use VPN with high consistency rates and unblocking geo restrictions with various streaming services and full peer-to-peer -peer support. The user interface is also very clean with an intuitive map design. NordVPN also boasts a true WireGuard protocol called NordLynx, which achieves exceptional speeds. Nord has over 5,400 servers in 59 countries and will allow users to secure up to six simultaneous connections per subscription. The big selling point with Nord is the amount of features it comes with four types of specialty servers, an app kill switch in addition to the regular kill switch, split tunneling, custom DNS, and of course the high performing Nordlinks protocol. And all of that comes at a very affordable price in both the one and two year plans. Now the next option will be your best budget VPN. Surfshark is a VPN that is very well known for being incredibly consistent with unblocking geo restrictions for most streaming services, as well as full peer to peer support. And while you'll be paying much less for the two year plan, that doesn't mean that you'll be sacrificing on features. You still get a handful of protocols, including Shadow Socks and the Speedy WireGuard protocol, multi hop or double VPN servers, static IP servers, a kill switch, and split tunneling, which is called Whitelister in Surfshark. And all that comes in a very well designed UI that is easy to use without any complications. Surfshark has over 3,200 servers in 65 countries, and you could say that the main selling point of Surfshark, besides the budget friendly two year plan, is the fact that Surfshark is the only VPN in the industry that allows users to secure an unlimited number of simultaneous connections with just one subscription, making for a very convenient deal. Now, the other two options, as I I said in the beginning will interest those that want a more advanced VPN with more customization options than usual. The first of which will be private internet access. PIA is a well balanced VPN with various advanced security options. You will get features like the kill switch, custom DNS options, split tunneling, paid dedicated IP, extensive protocol options on the open VPN with encryption, remote port and proxy selections and a WireGuard protocol for high speeds. All of PIA's applications are open source and desktop clients also come with a command line interface that can be used to automatically control some of the application's functionality using scripts. This is available for Windows, Linux, Mac, and is explained in detail on the PIA support website. PIA has over 32,000 servers in 78 countries and will allow users to secure up to 10 devices per subscription. And despite the extensive options available, PIA still remains fairly easy to use even for a beginner. The UI is well put together and bug free. 
Though, keep in mind that if you're looking to unblock streaming services using PIA, you won't be having much success. So definitely something to watch out for if you intend to use PIA for streaming. However, PIA is exceptional when it comes to torrenting thanks to its full support for peer-to-peer -peer activity and port forwarding, you'll be able to reach higher than average torrent speeds, which is definitely one of PIA's strongest features. And all of that really does come at a very reasonable price which is great to see. The second advanced VPN, which is the most advanced VPN I've reviewed so far, is TorGuard. TorGuard takes it to another level when it comes to features and advanced security options. It's very flexible and open source, and the amount of customization is very high. And you can tell that before even getting into the advanced settings. You have three protocol options, which includes WireGuard and OpenConnect. But most notably, the amount of options available for OpenVPN is what catches the eye. A whole slew of ports is available with the ability to switch ciphers depending on your security needs. And in the advanced options, you get a kill switch, an app kill switch, custom scripts, advanced DNS blocking options, custom DNS with available presets, proxy options including SOC5, a debug feature dedicated IP which you'll need to request in order to be able to stream and do note that you'll only be able to unblock two regions with the provided IP when it comes to streaming. Torrenting wise it's fully supported on TorGuard with port forwarding options which you can access from the website via a request but one missing feature however is split tunneling. TorGuard has over 3000 servers in over 50 countries most of which are physical servers which is one of the main reasons why TorGuard performs so well and TorGuard will allow users to secure up to 8 simultaneous devices per subscription. Again, if you're interested in any particular VPN on this list, I would highly recommend that you check out the reviews in the description. That way you'll know exactly what you're getting yourself into, as there's only so much information that I could cram into this video. And any links to pricing and discounts can also be found below. To briefly conclude, Express will be the most user-friendly and consistent VPN on this list. You'll spend the least amount of time configuring it and will get you moving about your business as quickly and as securely as possible. Nord will offer more options, but with slightly less consistency, especially when using OpenVPN. But most of the times you'll be using Nord links anyways, which is a very powerful protocol in its own respect. Surfshark is a great option for those who want to get all the premium services and streaming capabilities in a VPN without paying the premium price. PIA is a great balance of advanced features and user friendliness, and TorGuard will offer the highest levels of advanced options and customization. But it takes a little bit more work to get it to operate efficiently. So that'll be it for this video. If you enjoyed it or learned something, please be sure to hit the like button. It really helps me out. And subscribe if you'd like to further support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPN and cybersecurity related. And comment below if you have any questions and let me know which VPN you end up getting and why. I'd love to know what you're looking for in a VPN. Is it privacy and security or just a VPN that simply unblocks Netflix? Besides that, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.